Good morning guys. It is currently 8.52 in the morning. I just woke up, just took a shower. We're supposed to be at VMP in eight minutes, but we're gonna run a little bit late. I'm not really too concerned, but I think they'll be all right. Check this out. That is our view of the beach from our hotel balcony. Look at that. That is crazy. It is so cool around here. I guess we're good to head over there, so let's go. I want to talk to you guys about a few things being that today we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with the car and I basically want to review a lot of the stuff that's happened so far. Mainly, I got a dyno probably, I don't know, a month ago or so and whatever I did, everybody freaked out. Now let me give you a little bit of backstory to that. So we were going down to go to the hospital to go visit a guy that was in the hospital. That's literally the only reason that we went down to the town that we were going to. But um, while we were there, there was a Dodge Demon that was like, hey, since you're going to be in town, would you like to do some runs? And I was like, absolutely sure. And I planned on maybe racing a few more people that night so I needed to go on a dyno to be able to get data logging done being that uh, usually I'll do street logs which I'll just do a pull on the street log it send it over to my tuner and he'll send it back that easy but the only problem was at this time is that it was raining outside and I had been having a little bit of issues with the car so I wanted to just get a few logs done before I did any like wide open throttle full beat on the car and racing and stuff like that so we went to this shop essentially so that I could get out of the rain it was only supposed to rain for that morning but I had to get the tuning done so we went to the shop that morning to be able to get it dynoed um, and again it was only on the dyno just to be able to have proper conditions with traction just to be able to do uh, some pulls to be able to get the tuning done and stuff like that. Just check up on the tune to make sure the car is doing all right. So I put it on the dyno and for whatever reason, the car dynoed 1017, I believe, and everybody had a fit. In the video, I even stated that I definitely thought that those numbers were like extremely high. Um, I just literally was using it just for data logging, but the fact was is that I was like surprised and laughing and I guess people thought that I honestly, like in my head, believed that my car made 1017 at the wheel and I was, I just was like, what? No but everybody freaked out about that so anyway with that being said I've said multiple times before that I've said multiple times after that the car with its current setup should be making around 800 to the wheel if it's doing pretty healthy um, good environment everything like that it, maybe it'll make 850 to the wheel but nothing more than that on a 69 millimeter pulley right now it's on a 72 millimeter pulley so it's less boost less power etc it should be making about 750 to the wheel so i did that if you guys didn't see by the way i went to the bigger pulley to try to keep the belt on for cletus and cars which absolutely did not happen did not work whatsoever so that was a waste of time but we're going to be going to vmp today and i believe they're going to try to put a belt back on this blower currently we're going to dyno it before then we're going to swap over to the new blower which is going to be crazy because they're wanting to do an ati five percent overdrive um, harmonic balancer which is basically the pulley that's on the crank what this is going to do is it's actually going to turn the belt faster on the low end so i won't have to have as small of a pulley on the top for the supercharger to be able to make as much power which is going to be extremely extremely beneficial especially because the ati balancer saves the motor and helps the crank out a lot compared to the stock one but we'll get into that a little bit later so anyways though we're going to be hopefully putting a really really big pulley on that which is not going to be anything close to maxing out that supercharger and it should be still making the same power that this blower is making on the smallest pulley turning the fastest and like really putting a lot of stress on the motor because it's a ton of boost and um, that's pretty much why I blew the motor up the first time. So being able to swap over to this VMP Gen 3 is going to allow me to put so much more airflow through there because it's such a bigger blower. It's way more efficient for two. For three, I'll be able to run a lot bigger pulley sizes and make the same power. So like right now, if I'm on a 69, I should be able to make with the overdrive and everything. I should be able to make the same exact power around 850 to the wheel on I believe like a 79 millimeter pulley I want to say something like that it's absolutely crazy because after a 79 on those blowers you can go to a 75 then a 72 then a 69 and then a 63 now that is a lot of room to grow that should easily be able to put my car over a thousand to the wheel if I was maxing out that blower like hands down that would be just a nasty nasty setup but I don't plan on doing that anytime I'm soon being that my fuel system currently maxed out for the setup that it's on and once we swap over to the VMP it's going to be the same way so until I go with a bigger fuel system um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to be able to do anything crazy but I do have plans for that so also while we're here we're going to be swapping the um, injectors over to ID 1300s and I'm going to be taking out the ID 1050x injectors that are in here so we're going to go from 1056 cc I believe is what they are to 1300 cc 
Legacy injectors. So much larger, much bigger flowing um, injectors and it should help out the motor and take a lot of strain off the fuel system as well as leaving a lot of room on the table to be able to grow and put a new fuel system on there and not have to change the injectors because those injectors should be able to support all that I would want to do with that car. Once again, I just want to give a huge thanks to VMP before we head over there and uh, let's go ahead and head over to VMP guys. We'll talk to you there. Oh baby, we have arrived. VMP Performance, look at this dude. I have bought so many parts from this place but never gotten to be here. Oh my gosh. Hey man, how's it going? Nice to meet you, I'm Gavin. Cody. Where do you want me to park at? Oh man, flat space. Okay, yeah, yeah, let me do that so we can unload the car. Dude, look at that GT500. Yeah, that's nice. There is a parachute on this GT500. I see a GT350, I see a Focus. Everything here just looks fast. This is my <laughs> kind of place. It is good to finally be here. Man, thank, thank you, you so much for everything. Cody. Please don't like to grab at all. just blown off of it I just got to get uh, this out of the way yeah I'm gonna look it over uh, really carefully before we put it on the dyno and baseline it okay gotcha we'll get it figured out okay cool dude this is awesome this is like aftermarket kingdom right here there's just stuff everywhere I just everything looks so much faster than my car here there's not even a motor in this <laughs> We're rebuilding the engine before the next race. Okay, I got you. So, this car looks like it usually goes probably pretty quick. It's been 8 0. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whenever you walk around and see parachutes on everything, that's usually a sign. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this car on our social media before. No. But uh, after I tell you what it runs, you're probably going to be a little bit envious. Why is that? It went 9 1 last week. Oh, wow. At 158. And go Dang. look inside. Gosh. Oh, it's a manual. Holy crap. How did that happen? A lot of freaking horsepower, honestly. <laughs> How much power yeah. is this thing putting down? About uh, just over a thousand off the spray. Oh, and, off spray. <laughs> uh, 1200 on the spray. Oh, man. And what pulley is that on there? That's a 2 4. Okay. It's in rib. Wow. It's gone through different stages. The most recent stage is a fully built LM engine. Yeah. Race cam, uh, our new Gen 3 supercharger. He was actually waiting for our Gen 3 to come out. We put the car together first with our Gen 2, it made about 900. And then we got the Gen 3 on it, it made about 1040. To go 9 1 with a stick shift is like, that's scary. And that was his first time out. Wow. He's got he's got a lot of dialing in to do, but it's exciting to see it that close to the eights. Yeah, absolutely. It's got a bunch of cool stuff, but this is this is nothing that, you know, cannot be recreated. It's all off the shelf parts essentially. Yeah. Yeah, this right here is like beautiful. That is goals right there. Our dyno's outside. That is cool. Because uh, this is our mobile dyno. Yeah, I was about to say, that's awesome. So, so you can literally just take this wherever. Yeah, I mean this thing's been all over the country. What kind of dyno is it? Just curious. We use Dino Jet. Yeah, I've been on and off, I'm sure you know, but some sketchy ish dinos lately, so it's good to finally be back on a good dino. I've been getting a lot of messages about that. Yeah, oh yeah, it's been crazy. We're gonna find out what it really makes. Yeah, dino operators, some of them know what they're doing, some of them absolutely do not. Well, the biggest thing is the Dino Jet, you cannot fudge the Dino yeah. Jet. Right. This is another GT500 we just built. That is pretty. Yeah, I want to know about this car behind it because that I don't think I've seen. That is crazy. What in the heck? Oh my gosh. Those are carbon fiber wheels. Yeah, no expense. Wheelwood brakes, Shelby calipers. A full on wide body. Anderson. Hood and everything. Yeah. Anderson composites. Yeah, this is crazy. So this, this car made 700 on pump gas. It made uh, 780 on C16 and then we just ordered a smaller pulley and Joe's gonna tune it and see what we can get out of it. Wow, yeah, I've never even seen anything like this on an S550 in person, this is crazy. Wow, that and is. And all this custom leather was done. Yeah, that's beautiful, dang, wow. Even the back seats are done, that's crazy. That back from this angle just looks so crazy. I've not seen anything even remotely close to this. So is this like a shop car or what? It's a customer car. Okay, got you. It's another local shop we work with, uh, Ultimate Audio. Okay. And it's kind of one of their customers. So they came to us for the tuning and powertrain. What in the heck, that is crazy. There is three total calipers on the back of this. 
<laughs> wow, I'm guessing that's for the uh, regular brakes. One's for the hydro, one's for the e-brake, I guess. Yeah. That's crazy. Street tires are already on there. That's crazy how it just like yeah, completely go. falls off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not damaged or anything. Nope, just sure. completely slips off. And I mean, it happens, like I brought it to the track, took off in first, shifted in second, it was done, it popped already. Hopefully this thing will make at least one decent pass on the dyno without blowing a belt off. That would suck. So we're going to be able to basically find out what this car is making on the setup that it's on with the uh, 72 millimeter pulley and find out the true numbers that this car has been hiding because uh, we have not gotten an accurate number off of this car since I bought it. I'm curious to see how much it's going to pick up between the two blowers. Um, yeah. I'm just excited to have something more efficient and hopefully holding belts on and not having issues. <laughs> They wanted to get their video guy out here to get a video of the car on the dyno, so. so they have a certain place I put it on the roller. It's a little bit forward of center. Right. It actually grabs better. So what is your guess of what it's gonna make on a 72? I mean, it's on E85. It's got a 72 millimeter pulley. Yep. It's a strong setup. It should make 750, maybe eight. Okay. So what do you think it would have made with the 69 if it were on there and could hold a belt on with it? You know, my guess was 825 is yeah, with the 69. Another 2030 would be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I watched your thousand horsepower video. You know, you weren't really certain. You didn't really yeah, see no, 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 how it no, happened, no, no, anyways. No. And that's what I was saying in the end of the video. I was like, we put it on here for data logging because <laughs> I wanted to race that night. And then it had, I mean, like, I just didn't want to not upload it. So just really, um, depends on uh, how far we push it. How yeah. close we get to that thousand with the Gen 3 just depends on how right. far we push it. All right. So they are getting ready to go live right here so we can live stream. The dyno runs for the baseline of the Roush blower right now on the 72 millimeter pulley. Justin is assuming that the car is gonna put down like 750. I'm gonna say like 725 is what I'm gonna guess. Um, it is a pretty stout setup, but again, it is on less boost than usual. I usually have it on the 69, it's on a 72 right now, so. We're getting ready to do one pull just to make sure that everything is right on the car and everything's hooked up good. This is about to get loud. I'm gonna guess it's gonna make 740, 743, that's my number. I'm so nervous, but I'm excited to see what it makes. Oh God, here we go. Holy crap. <laughs> that is loud, that is loud. This car is a monster. Let me go see if you got any numbers. Oh. So, um, full disclosure, it's a little bit rich since we boost referenced it, like about three to five percent. And uh, it's not a bad thing though when you're doing this much power on a stock motor. <laughs> I see the number. <laughs> 762, 625. Okay, great. So 762 on the 72 millimeter pulley, 625 wheel torque. Probably make a little more on the 69. Yeah. Like I said, it's a tad rich. It probably, I think if we took the smaller pulley and the richness into account, we could have probably made 800. Yeah, right. But we're not gonna be running this setup for much longer. Yeah, right, hopefully not. <laughs> 75. So 7,500, okay, cool. Full strong, man. Look at that curve. Let me check that out, oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're actually, you're actually making above 750 from like 6,900 on up. You're making over 750. Wow, that's that's crazy. It's making about 13 pounds of boost right now. 
Okay. So it's nothing crazy boost wise. Yeah, so 13 pounds of boost and it's at 762 wheel yeah. and 625 wheel torque. All right guys, so there you go. That is it. We got the numbers out of the car. It's doing very, very healthy for a 72 millimeter pulley on E85 for sure. So the fuel system should be able to support a lot more power, which uh, that's very promising because that Gen 3 is gonna need a lot of more fuel than this Roush blower to keep it going because uh, we're gonna be upgrading the injectors, obviously, like I was talking to you guys about to the ID 1300 injectors. So this is gonna be seriously crazy. This is gonna be nuts. I don't think this car is ready for how fast it's about to get. <laughs> Look inside of this. This is like, this is real race car. My car is literally just like a full interior, just regular car that just might be a little bit fast. This thing right here is just like devoted race car. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hot under here trying to swap these blowers out after those dyno runs. Oh yeah, it's hot under there. So the head unit swap should be pretty straightforward and simple, huh? Yeah. Just six bolts or 10 bolts, something like that, something eight like bolts. That. Well, we got the uh, intake out. We're just gonna go ahead and disconnect a few vacuum lines, disconnect a few connectors, and the head unit should pretty much come off pretty straightforward and simple. So it's not gonna be that bad, I don't think. Not like I'm doing it or anything, but Donnie's gonna have fun with it. <laughs> In the last stages before pulling off this Roush blower, everybody's getting ready to go live right here to record the uh, the swap and everything like that on their YouTube. The camera died literally in the middle of that video, so I had to run outside to go grab the battery, and I think I'm missing my own live stream right now. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, like real high I missed them pulling it off. How did I miss them pulling off my blower? Did it look cool whenever they pulled it off? <laughs> These are the new injectors, by the way. These are ID 1300s, I believe. So these are some big boys right here. Yep, ID 1300s. Those are some big old squirters right there. So right now you're just pulling these injectors out to swap them over to the 1300s? That's right. All righty, new injectors are going in. Will this support all the horse pressures? It will support all of the horse pressure. That's great. Oh boy. Here's the unpackaging. This is how, if you were to buy a blower from us, how it comes packaged. It is nestled yeah. in a hard foam <laughs> <laughs> Keep it from getting damaged. Yes. Nestled. Nestled. I mean, nestled. Nestled. That's so nice. Here's oh, the that's beautiful. Gen 3. This is exactly what somebody would see if they were to buy it separately yeah, and get yeah. it shipped to their door. Only difference was, or dif difference is there'd be a UPS label right there. Right, right. That is awesome. And this snout is a little bit smaller, correct? Yeah, so you can technically run a 63 pulley. But okay. I don't want you doing that on a stock. Pulley. No, absolutely not, no. <laughs> that's really meant for our 8 and 10 rib setups. Correct. Wow. How Honestly, I didn't even know that. That's pretty the cool. The quest for more horsepower drives you to do crazy things. <laughs> so yeah, so Justin actually designed these. So it is proprietary. That is awesome. I did not know that at all. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. He is constantly I mean, looking and seeing how he can modify and create more airflow. So I have a question for you. So this is an adapter plate because the inlet is that much bigger? Yes, we have like that 1100 horsepower GT500 we were showing you earlier. Right. Uh, we have a huge throttle body option there. <laughs> wow, that is nuts. So my throttle body is gonna bolt up to these four, correct? Yep. And it's just that much bigger of an inlet that, uh, so yeah, that's crazy. Really, really big. Wow. This boy's got a stock motor. We gotta keep him under control. <laughs> so basically they're doing their live stream. They're getting everything finalized with the blower over here. And then we are gonna take that thing and drop it right on top of this motor right here. I am pumped. This thing is gonna be nuts. I actually didn't even realize how much bigger it is until actually getting to see it in person. There is an obviously smaller snout on there too. Like he was saying, you can fit a 63 millimeter pulley, which is way smaller than even the smallest that I'm using. Plus it's gonna be pushing a lot more airflow with that too, so it'd be devastating on a stock motor, I'm sure. So we're ready to drop it on the motor? Yeah. Sweet. He's gonna make me lift this now. I... <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah. Wow, that is massive. The diameter of the rotors is actually a lot bigger and that's where a lot of their efficiency comes from. Right. Dude, this thing looks so much bigger. Is the hood even gonna close on this? Barely. Barely? <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say when Donnie gets out of the way, I will show you the one thing we're gonna do. You okay. Do oh, you're gonna remove it? Yeah. Kind of beat up anyways. Yeah, from belts getting slung off and everything. It's been torn up. Plus there's a pretty little Mustang under there, I've heard. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's pretty cool. They stamp a Mustang under there and then they cover it up with the heat shield. Okay. Dang. So you gotta take all that out and push these tabs up just to have clearancing for this blower. That's how big it was. <laughs> We're gonna go check out this special hood on this car. Oh, dude, what? No way. No way, that is nuts. 
This is the only reason to cut a hole in your hood gavin if you're gonna cover it with glass. Dude, I would actually love to do that. That is so sick. We uh, built this car for the SEMA show two years ago. Right. And it was actually a car that Ford sold us for a dollar based on a concept. Dude, what? Yeah. That is so sick under here. Cervini's did this awesome custom hood. Basically a Cervini's body kit with a custom hood. Our wow. Gen 3 supercharger. Custom avalanche paint job. Dude, this car is really, really, really cool. It's and it made 750 with an 85? Yeah. Are you serious? It's got a 5% overdrive, but yeah. Good. So is that going to be the similar setup to my car? Yeah. We're going to run a smaller pulley on your car, though. So you're, th you're saying that I can run the same power that I just ran on a... 72 on an 85 yes at the end of the day we might end up with 79 or 75 on the, <laughs> i would not be opposed this. to that yeah. i would not be opposed to that at all there there might be the number that you make on the dyno and there might be the number that you leave with yeah because it is a stock motor yeah yeah i'd hate to blow up another one looks like we're about to go grab lunch that hood on that car though is like so nice man i wish i could get something like that for my car they this shop has like the coolest stuff ever if you guys are ever anywhere around new smyrna or new smyrna beach however you pronounce it make sure you stop by here this place is crazy so what's about to happen now while we're eating lunch i am going to do an ati balancer on the car uh, okay and then we'll give you a, a, one of our hd tensioners heavy duty tensioners they help out with the yeah the right place. Right. Help with any belt slip, belt from walking around, you need the extra tension on there. Right. Kind of get some of the front end of the motor ripped apart while you're grabbing food and <laughs> close to being a dyno ready car by the time you get back. That's and, uh, awesome. Let's put a 75 millimeter, one of our heavy duty um, 75 millimeter idlers down there. That'll be a little bit wider. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be wider. So let's put one of the, the um, non lipped water pumps on yeah. it. Yeah, water pump. Well, I've got the belt for the uh, for the new setup. I went and brought it from home. So I'm going to bring this inside to Donnie and then we're going to go grab some lunch real quick. He's going to be installing an ati crank balancer here you go buddy all right guys well he's gonna finish up installing a few more parts on the car we're gonna go grab some lunch oh check this out oh look at the rig okay okay i see you look at the focus this car is so cool <laughs> well we went to go park and there is a bullet right there that's pretty neat this guy is looking at me like i'm crazy for videoing him <laughs> check that out i've never gotten to see one of those in person yet dang I haven't gotten to see one in person yet. Yours is the first one that I've seen. Oh, yeah, I just had about a month now. How do you like it? I love it. How you doing? I just wanted to check it out. I'm sorry to bother. I just wanted to look at it. All righty, guys. We're going to go inside and grab some lunch. We're going to come back here in a second. I will talk to you guys shortly. We're about to walk inside right now and go see what the progress on my car is. Should be getting close to done if everything's going smooth. So this was taken out. That looks very questionable. That's that's pretty pathetic. It's awful. Yeah, so we got okay, a yeah. real one in here now. Billet aluminum, big bearing. It's actually a slightly smaller version of this one. Yeah, that's the 90 and that's the 75 down there? Yep. Okay, got you. Donnie's got it all prepped to put the balancer on. Okay, so the stock uh, balancer is off right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I see that down there. That's the stock one. So we're going to put on a 5% overdrive ATI. Okay. Donnie's going Sweet. to get that right now. You know, it looks like it It didn't happen to yours, but on these supercharged applications, right. there's a risk of um, them separating. There's rubber in between in there. Oh, yeah, okay. For one reason or another, that Roush blower did not want to go nines, but if anything is going to, I feel like this setup right here is the setup to do it for sure. And so this is their HD tensioner, right? The VMP HD tensioner. And uh, that's basically going to be able to hold a lot more tension on that belt between shifts and everything because quick shifts and everything takes a lot of tension off of the belt very quickly. And that's usually what allows that belt to slip off. So having this HD tensioner on there will really help out a lot, I think. Slowly but surely, this car is about to be an animal. VMP is really doing some work here. It's really fun to be able to watch other people work on my car for once. <laughs> I'm used to always working on my own stuff, so this is cool. So we're going to slide this balancer onto the crank, right? All the ugly -ugas. Oh, yeah. This is a 5% overdrive, which means that the bottom pulley is going to turn a lot faster. That way we can have a little bit bigger pulley on the top and still make the same power. Also, those ATI balancers are much, much better on the crank. So this is a great setup for sure. This is the old tensioner that uh, did not work for anything. This is the new HD tensioner from VMP. As you guys see, it's really nice and shiny and pretty and should hold a belt on there much better, I believe. Okay, so that is a 79? 79. And that is gonna be equivalent to uh, what? Because I have the 5% overdrive now, right? And 
So what is that going to be equivalent to as far as the Roush blower go goes? From a Roush blower, from a 2.3 blower up to the 2.65, we usually go three pulley sizes larger to get to make the same about power. The same. Yeah, okay. Um, a little bit more power still, even. Oh, okay, the same for the same boost. boost. The rotors are more efficient. Right. Um, so now we've got a five percent lower on it. So that that's basically a pulley size. So you're, you're putting a 79 on, but with the 5% lower, we'll just act like this is a 75 for argument's sake. Right. So you went from a 72 to a... A 75. On a blower that makes more Way power more power. Three pulley sizes larger anyway. <laughs> I mean, look at how big. That is crazy how big that blower is compared to the old one. There's a lot, a lot of room to grow with this blower as well. So if I ever decided to go the built motor route, it'd All be... Right. You're going to side. <laughs> no, I'll slip it under. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, check it out. So we've got the ATI balancer down there installed. We've also got the new HD tensioner in there. We've also got the new idler from VMP that is down there. Also, I've got the VMP idler up here for the Scott Hasty bracket for belt wrap and stuff like that. So that's going to do good. The VMP blower is installed. Everything is pretty much finished up. All we've got to do now is reinstall the throttle body, put the new intake on here, get it tuned, and we're going to go strap this thing back to the dyno. We're going to see what kind of numbers this thing makes. <laughs> Alrighty guys, check it out. We've got everything pretty much finalized, buttoned up and ready to go. All we're waiting on now is a tune. They're going to slap a tune on the car and then we're going to go strap this thing up to the dyno. we got the intake put on, all the connectors are hooked back up, throttle body is replaced, pulley is on with the 79mm pulley, which is going to be pretty scary. This is going to be one hell of a ride after we get done with this, I'm telling you. This is going to be a world of difference between the two blowers. I really don't think I could ever sell this thing. I've had so many people trying to buy it from me, and I've contemplated selling it so many times, but I don't know if I can anymore. I'm just way too invested in this car. We are taking the old Roush blower off of the car. Well, not off the car. We're taking it to the truck to go load it up. Yes, We've got the old Injector Dynamics, the ID1050X injectors. We've got a belt here. We literally have an entire blower setup that I'm going to have to get rid of once I get back home, but it shouldn't be that hard. Hopefully, I can sell some of that to recoup a little bit of the money. I guess we can just... Throw the blower right there. <laughs> All right, perfect fit. Check that out. Yeah, just casually got a Rouse supercharger underneath the back seat of the truck. Dude, wide body super snake. I don't know why I cannot get over this. We are almost wrapping everything up here at VMP. We're waiting on uh, basically the tune to get finished up. And once we get the tune on it, we can take this thing and strap it out here on the dyno right here. Hopefully, we can get about, I don't know, on the 69 millimeter pulley, it should have been making probably. I don't know, 800 or so. So hopefully with the Gen 3 blower and everything, we'll be making 850 and that's obviously on <laughs> like a very big pulley. So we can easily, easily strap a ton more power onto that car after that. Whereas the Roush blower was maxed out and making that much, so. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna move this thing out there and get it put on the dyno. It is not tuned right now, so it is not happy at all. What we were thinking is Joe's gonna make a hit on it tonight, just make sure it's good, and then in the morning we'll f finish everything up. Okay. So essentially what we're about to do is just give it like a test hit on the dyno. We're going to see how well the fuel system is going to hold up to this much power and this much boost and everything. If it does pretty well, then I'll be able to trailer it and take it to the meet tonight. But if not, then uh, it's going to be staying here while we go. Look at that. Look at that Gen 3 just a spinning, baby. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just steady like killing my ears. <laughs> Look at that. And it starts That's raining. What the car does. It makes it rain. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. On it. Oh, no dude, no way. <laughs> on the 79 millimeter pulley. Oh no. You're up 100. We didn't even try. 881 almost. It's 880.9 to the wheel. 668 foot pounds of torque <laughs> okay guys so 881 at the wheel was the first pull 
Um, it's getting a little bit late here, so they're not going to try to make too much noise. So we're just going to take the car tonight, and we're going to head over to a meet that must... Oh, I can't even talk. We're going to go to a meet that Mustang Lifestyle, or Andrew, as you guys probably know him. He is hosting a meet here local, so we're going to go take the car out there. We're going to load it up in the trailer. Unfortunately, it is still on the first tune, so we're not going to be able to do anything crazy with it yet. But uh, that car is freaking fast dude 881 on a 79 millimeter pulley okay let's think about this real quick there's a 79 then lower than that for more power there's a 75 there's a 72 there's a 69 and then there's a 63 <laughs> yeah that's what we're dealing with yep anyways guys let me set all my stuff down we're gonna pull the car into the trailer real fast and uh i will talk to you guys here shortly we have the car completely loaded up back in the trailer I am so happy. That was crazy. 881 to the wheel on the first pull. Picked up like 120 horsepower just like that. With a much larger pulley, much less like, strain, everything. It didn't even try. Yep, that's what he said. He said we just picked up 120 horsepower without even trying. We have one more day tomorrow that we have to come back and finish up the tuning on the car, but that is all for now. to uh, Mustang Lifestyles meet right now. We're gonna take the Mustang across town and we're gonna go hopefully, which one is the G? Which one? I've never signed an S550 before. That is yeah, the first. <laughs> That is probably going to be all for today's video. We have a big day of VMP in the morning, so uh, we're going to go inside, hang out for a little bit, and uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video.